Habari sa asubu no habari sa jioni <laughs> Habari sa jioni Mambo vipi Dar es Salaam huh? So uh, we have to say to all the mamas and babas in the room shika mo I've learned in Tanzania <laughs> Can everybody answer marhaba Naomba kila mmoja ajibu marhaba Shika mo baba Shika mo mama This is such a wonderful time for me. Let me see if I can do some Swahili. Emgonyanione kama naweza nikaongea kidogo Kiswahili. Ni heshimia, no let me see. Ni heshimia kuhubiri hapa leo. Nimeheshimiwa. Ni heshimia. I'm trying here. I'm trying here. Najaribu. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to finally be in Dar es Salaam. Mabibi na mabwana kwa mara nyingine tena nafurahi kuwepo Dar es Salaam. And I greet all of my friends that have come here tonight. Mimi nawasalimuni rafiki zangu wote mliokuja hapa usiku wa leo. And did you enjoy the singing? Jamani mmeufurahia uimbaji? Noah from Bukavu and Miriam from Dar es Salaam. Tulikuwa na Noah kutoka Bukavu, Congo lakini tulikuwa na Miriam kutoka Dar es Salaam. And then we had a son of Dar es Salaam singing here. Lakini tulikuwa na kijana kutoka Dar es Salaam na yameimba hapa. Son I've heard. Nafikiri Sheikh amemmsikia. Me and the Sheikh have already gotten to know each other. Mimi pamoja na Sheikh sasa tumefahamiana. I introduced my wife from Sweden to him. Nimemtambulisha mke wangu kutoka Sweden kwake. And he said my fourth wife should be from Sweden. Na Sheikh ameniambia mkewe wa nne itabidi amuoe kutoka Sweden. But uh, for us Christians, like in Christo, we only pick we only pick one warda, one flower. Sisi tunachukuaga uwa moja tu sisi. So I picked mine very carefully, Sheikh. Kwa hiyo mimi hapa ninamlinda kweli uwa langu ina Maria, could kweli. you stand up please? This is my wife Maria. Maria simama kidogo, huyu ndiye mke wangu Maria. And here in Tanzania I always sing to her. Na mara zote nikiwa Tanzania huwa namwimbia. Malaika na kupenda malaika <laughs> It's wonderful to be in Tanzania. Ni ajabu sana kuwepo Tanzania. We say salam aleikum. We say bwana asifiwe sana. And if there are any Catholics we say eh, tumsifu Yesu Kristo. There you go. Huh? No I I have been looking forward to address you. Uh, nimekuwa nikitamani sana kuzungumza nanyi. I have learned over the 30 years being active in Africa. Nimejifunza kwa miaka sasa zaidi ya 30 uh, kufanya huduma Afrika. You can never go into a city without the blessing of the elders. Hauwezi ukaingia katika mji wowote bila baraka za wazee. You can never go in if you don't have the blessing of the mamas and the babas. Hauwezi ukaingia kokote bila kupata baraka za baba yako, baba zako na mama zako. And that you heard the invitation and more than that came here tonight makes me so happy. Nimefurahi kwamba mmesikia mwaliko wangu lakini pia mmekuja na hii imenifurahisha sana mimi. I'm so happy that you came. Ninajisikia vizuri ya kwamba mmekuja. We are going to stay here for five weeks. Tutakuwepo hapa Tanzania Dar es Salaam kwa wiki tano. So before we go we will know all the songs. Kwa hiyo kabla hatujaondoka tutafahamu nyimbo zote. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Bwana. Ah. ah. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. We will know all the songs before we. Tutazijua nyimbo zote kabla hatujaondoka Tanzania. <laughs> so um, tonight I had a scripture in mind when I was preparing for this dinner. Jioni ya leo wakati najiandaa kwa ajili ya chakula hiki nilikuwa nimepata andiko ndani ya moyo wangu. And uh, I want to read uh, just one or two scriptures from my holy book the Bible. Is that okay with you? Nitasoma maandiko mangalau mawili toka kwenye Biblia yangu takatifu. Jamani hiyo si sawa? Yes, I know that uh, Muslims respect Jesus as one of the prophets. Ninajua Waislamu wanamheshimu Yesu kama mmoja wa mitume. And I know that we have a lot in common when it comes to the Old Testament. Lakini najua tuna mengi yanayofanana katika agano la kale. And in Psalm 85, katika Zaburi ya 95 na verse 10, na mstari wa 10, we read like this. Tunasoma namna hii. So listen. Niombe usikilize. Love and faithfulness meet together. Upendo na imani vyakutana pamoja. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Haki na upendo vinapigana busu. Such a night. 
when the leaders of the city and the leaders of the nation are coming together pale ambapo viongozi wa jiji na viongozi wa taifa wanakutana pamoja so we are coming together kwa tunakutana pamoja with love and faithfulness kwa upendo na imani and we believe in righteousness and peace for Tanzania lakini tunamwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya amani na upendo Tanzania so i greet you in the name of peace kwa hiyo ninawasalimieni kwa jina la amani may Tanzania continue to flourish and prosper with peace nami ninatangaza Tanzania iendelee kufanikiwa na kufanikiwa zaidi kwa amani and we have come to pray for the great nation of Tanzania. Lakini tumekuja kuliombea taifa hili zuri na kubwa la Tanzania. So every evening in our festival, katika kila jioni ya mikutano yetu, we are going to pray tutafanya maombi for her excellence Samia Suluhu Hassan. Tutakuwa tukimwombea mheshimiwa Samia Suluhu Hassan. We will pray for the cabinet. Tutaliombea baraza la mawaziri. We will pray for prosperity and peace for the nation of Tanzania. Lakini tutaomba kwa ajili ya amani na mafanikio ya Tanzania. Everybody say amen. Kila mmoja aseme amen. And this is what we need. Na hiki ndicho tunachokihitaji. Come together like this. Kukutana pamoja namna hii. Shake hands. Kushikana mikono in faithfulness kwa upendo na peace each other lakini pia kupendana na kupigana righteousness and peace um, eh, kwa amani na kwa upendo share a meal together kula chakula kwa pamoja sometimes uh, the muslims and the christians had say they look at each other from far away mara kadhaa mara nyingine waislamu na wakristo wanafikiri wanaweza wakatazamana kwa mbali and then suspicion grows na wakati mwingine hiyo ikitokea but when we sit down together lakini tunapokaa pamoja we eat a meal in brotherhood aha uh-huh. tunapokula chakula kama ndugu we can build nations tunaweza tukayajenga mataifa yetu we can overcome obstacles tunaweza tukaondoa viambaza vyetu and i have traveled africa naomba niseme nimesafiri mimi sana africa and i must say tanzania stands out <laughs> hey naomba niwaambie katika nchi zote nilizosafiri Tanzania kwangu imekuwa bora zaidi. As a flower in Africa. Imekuwa ni zaidi ya ua jema kote Afrika. Of great peace and prosperity. Nchi hii ni nchi ya amani na mafanikio makubwa. I have met many of your presidents personally. Nimekutana na marais wenu kadhaa eh, eh, uso kwa uso. And John Magufuli became a very good friend. Na niseme uh, rais John Magufuli alikuwa rafiki yangu mzuri. And uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Na ninawapeni pole kubwa sana kwa kumpoteza. But now we are praying for Mama Samia. Lakini sasa tunamwombea Mama Samia. And we are praying that this nation will continue with prosperity. Na tunaomba kwamba taifa hili litaendelea kufanikiwa. So, I have a few words from the New Testament as well. Ninalo neno dogo kutoka Agano Jipya pia. And I will read from one of the letters of uh, the disciple Peter, one of Jesus' disciple Peter. Na nitasoma toka kwenye moja ya nyaraka za Mtume Petro. And I am reading from the third chapter of the first letter of Peter. Nitasoma sura ya tatu katika waraka wa kwanza wa Petro. And I want to read from verse 10 to 13. Nitasoma kuanzia mstari wa 10 mpaka wa 13. It says like this. Inasema hivi. For whoever would love life and see good days, kwa maana atakaye kupenda maisha na kuona siku njema, must keep their tongue from evil. Auzuie ulimi wake usinene mabaya. And zuia ulimi wako usinene mabaya. Don't be deceitful but be a man or a woman of your words. Usidanganyike fanyika mwanaume ama mwanamke mwenye maadili ya maneno yake can i hear an amen naomba nisikie amina kubwa this goes for all of us hii inakwenda kwetu sisi wote number 2 jambo la pili peter says tume petro anasema we ought to do good tunawajibika kutenda mema and i know that every mosque and every muslim community is doing a lot of good for poor na mimi ninaelewa misikiti mingi na jamii nyingi za Kiislamu zinafanya mambo mengi kwa wamaskini. The Christians are trying to do the same. Wakristo pia wanafanya yale yale. And when God blesses us, Mungu anapotubariki, we have a responsibility as leaders. Tunayo ma, tunao wajibu kama viongozi to do good for the nation. Wa kutenda mema kwa taifa. Can you say amen? Nisaidie kusema amen. And then number three, jambo la tatu, Peter says Tume Petro anasema we ought to seek peace. Lazima tutafute amani if we want to live long. Ikiwa tunataka kuishi muda mrefu. If we want to see prosperity. Kama tunataka kuona mafanikio, we should seek peace. Lazima tutafute amani. 
When I was a little boy, nilipokuwa mvulana mdogo, and started school, na nikaanza shule in Europe, kule Ulaya. My best friend was a Muslim girl. Ah, rafiki yangu wa karibu sana alikuwa ni binti wa Kiislamu. She helped me with my homework. Alinisaidia hata zile shughuli za nyumbani. She was smarter than me. Alikuwa he, alikuwa na akili na ufahamu. She always had dinners at her house. Okay. Na mimi nilikuwa na piga msosi nyumbani kwao. When I grew older, nilipoanza kukua, I realized niligundua it was not suitable for me to hang out with this girl for many different reasons. Niligundua sio sio sawa kuwa karibu sana na huyu binti kwa sababu kadhaa. But it was something strange when we turned teenagers. Lakini kuna kitu kilitokea tulipokuwa vijana rika. We belong to two different worlds. Tulikuwa tuna ni tulikuwa tunatokea katika aina mbili tofauti za ulimwengu. How comes that some that are best friends as kids inawezekanaje waliokuwa marafiki wakubwa walipokuwa watoto played soccer together waliocheza mpira pamoja did homework together waliofanya kazi za nyumbani pamoja meals together waliokula chakula pamoja could become strangers to each other when Ka- we grow older ghafla wanapokuwa watu wazima wanakuwa kama vile maadui fulani hivi and that is a shame na hiyo ni haya ni aibu and our lord jesus christ says that if we don't receive the kingdom of god as children we will never enter into it na yesu mwenyewe anasema ikiwa hatutaufai upokea ufalme wa mungu na hatutapokea kama watoto wachanga ufalme wa mungu hatutaingia and, and paul says in the new testament tume paulo anasema kwenye agano jipya the kingdom of god is righteousness ufalme wa mungu ni haki peace and joy amani na upendo and i'd like to say here today very boldly among my brothers and sisters of Tanzania. Na mimi naomba niongee hapa katikati ya kaka zangu na dada zangu wa Tanzania. Let us all be like children. Niombe turejee tuwe kama watoto. Let us all come together. Niombe hebu tukae pamoja. Not only to build bridges. Niombe kazi kubwa tujenge madaraja. Bridges still speaks about different worlds and different communities. Usiishie tu kujenga madaraja maana yataonyesha tofauti ya jamii hizo na na mataifa. You have to cross from one side to the other. Lazima tujenge madaraja na tuwe na uwezo wa kuvuka upande mmoja kwenda upande mwingine. No, I'm here to, to say to all of you tonight. Niko hapa niseme kwenu ninyi wote. Let's build a table of brotherhood. Ninaomba tujenge meza ya udugu na undugu. Where we share together. Ambapo tutashiriki kiana pamoja we help one another tutakaposaidiana pamoja as my little muslim girlfriend was helping me with my homework i think business people can help each other out no matter religion kama yule binti mdogo yule wa kiislamu alienisaidia homework zangu wafanyabiashara wa kiislamu wanaweza wakasaidiana na wakristo sawa sawa i also believe Nami ninaamini pia that a pastor and a sheikh a mullah and a bishop could help each other out doing good for the community. Lakini pia ninaamini mchungaji na imamu che pamoja na askofu wanaweza wakashirikiana kutenda mema katika jamii zao. And I'm here tonight as one of those proclaimers of peace. Mm-hmm. Niko hapa jioni ya leo kama mtangazaji wa amani. I am a very clear gospel preacher. Mimi ni mhubiri wa injili wa waziwazi na wakweli. I believe in Jesus Christ as my savior. Ninaamini katika Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wangu. I don't need to compromise my faith to extend the hand of brotherhood. Na ninataka niseme ukweli wala sihitaji eh, sihitaji kubwetesha ile imani yangu ili kushikana mikono na asiye wa imani hiyo. And that's why I want to say that the two festivals we are going to have in your city. Na ndio maana nikasema hii mikutano mikubwa miwili tokeo kwa nayo kwenye jiji hili they are festivals of joy ha, hii ni mikutano ya furaha festivals of peace mikutano ya amani we will dance together tutacheza pamoja we will sing together tutaimba pamoja we will extend hands of brotherhood na tutashikana mikono ya udugu wetu pamoja i will preach the gospel nitahubiri injili but anyone who is secure in their faith shouldn't be afraid lakini yeyote yule ambaye anaipenda imani yake wala asiogope injili yangu. Insecurity creates fear. Mara zote hofu inaleta uh, eh, mashaka inaleta hofu. Security creates something else. Lakini uh, ile amani ule ulinzi unaleta afya. Generosity. Inaleta afya, inaleta uzima, uzuri. So before I continue. Kwa hiyo kabla sijaendelea. Reach someone your hand at the table. Ebu shika mkono wa jirani yako katika meza uliokaa. I have come together with you tonight. Mwambie nime tumekutana na wewe jioni ya leo. In peace and in love. 
katika upendo na katika amani in righteousness katika haki and in love na upendo hallelujah hallelujah I'm here to declare Niko hapa nitangaze The festivals of Dar es Salaam open tonight. Mikutano ya Dar es Salaam inafunguliwa leo. We are going to celebrate together. Tutakwenda kucheza pamoja, kusherekea pamoja. I extend my welcome. Na mimi nataka nitoe mwaliko wangu to every faith in town. Kwa kila imani hapa jijini. If the Sheikh comes he will be my honor guest. Ikiwa Sheikh atakuja mkutanoni atakuwa ni mgeni wangu wa heshima. for you on the planet. Nitakuwa na kiti kwa ajili yako pale jukwani. This is how we need to move. Hivi ndivyo tunavyotaka kutembea. All right. Ndio. I have a few more words. Ninayo maneno machache zaidi. But I think we should sing the national anthem together. Lakini natamani tuimbe wimbo wa taifa pamoja. What do you say about that? Mnasemaje juu ya hilo? So I would like to have Miriam Lukindo Mauku come up here. Ni muombe Miriam Lukindo Mauki hapa and help me lead in the national anthem. Aje anisaidie kuongoza wimbo huu wa taifa la Tanzania. Stand up to our feet. Niombe tusimame kwa miguu yetu wote. Tanzania together. Tuiombe Tanzania pamoja. Oh, we got Boaz Duncan here as well. I'm very happy. Tunaye Boaz Duncan pamoja nasi tunafuraha. And uh, I only know the the ending. Mimi najua huo uh, wimbo najuaga kukuwa mwisho mwisho ni mwisho ni tukule. Ibariki Tanzania. Yeah, Ibariki. But now we will hear the whole song. Lakini sasa tutaimba wimbo mzima. And we will sing it as a prayer song. Na tutauimba kama wimbo wa dua. And we will bless Tanzania together. Na tutaibariki Tanzania pamoja. Are you ready? Je, mko tayari? Mko tayari? Yes. <laughs> Tanzania come on somebody huh? What is it that you do in Tanzania that I think you do best in East Africa Unajua moja kati ya mambo mnayofanya Tanzania na naamini mnayofanya bora kuliko wengine Afrika Mashariki I will test you now Nitawajaribuni sasa Wanawake wa Tanzania Pigelegele Let me try one more time Moja niwajaribu tena mara nyingine Wanawake wa Tanzania piga vigele This is how we celebrate in Tanzania, isn't it? Yes, right now, sasa hivi, in the name of all of you, kwa majina yenu, I would like to ask for your blessing. Ningetamani kuzipokea baraka zenu. 
Will you bless me as I come to your city? Je, mnanibariki ninapokuja kwenye jiji letu la Dar es Salaam? Will you receive me in your city? Je, mnanipokea ninapokuja kwenye jiji letu la Dar es Salaam? If you receive me lift up a hand. Kama mnanipokea, hebu nyosheni mikono yangu na mna hii. Hebu nipongee tu mkono wako namna hii. You see this feels so good. Hii inanifurahisha to have had your blessing. Kuipata baraka yako. Because now I know we can move forward. Sasa hii inanipa kujua naweza kwenda mbele. I feel safe. Na ninajisikia niko salama. Because you got my back. Maana mko mgongoni kwangu. I got you to shield me. Ninajisikia vizuri kwamba mmeniwezesha, mmenitegemeza. Please be seated. Niombe tukae sasa. Please be seated. Niombe tukae. So, just a few more words. Maneno machache tena kidogo. You see, I have read the Quran. Uh, nimeisoma Quran. I took actually a whole summer and studied the Quran. Ah, uh, katika kiangazi kilichopita nimetumia kusoma Quran. And I know that Isa in the Quran is known to do miracles. Ah, uh, kwenye kule kwenye Quran Isa anajulikana kama mtenda miujiza. And uh, when we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, tunapohubiri injili ya Yesu Kristo, we have been blessed with a lot of miracles. Tunabarikiwa sana na tumekuwa tukibarikiwa na ishara na miujiza ya Atani. And here to announce to all of you, niko hapa nitangaze kwenu ninyi wote, that I believe God is going to pour out his spirit and heal a lot of people in Dar es Salaam. Aha. Uh-huh. Naomba nitangaze Mungu ameachilia neema yake na anakwenda kuwaponya maelfu ya watu walioko Dar es Salaam. So tell your people to bring those that are in need and that are sick. Na waombeni waambieni watu wenu wawalete wenye mahitaji pale viwanjani. Tell those people that have been trying everything. Hebu waambieni watu wenu ambao wamekuwa wakijaribu mambo mengi to come and try prayers in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Waje wajaribu maombi kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Not so long ago, sio muda mrefu uliopita, we saw a little muslim boy. Tulimuona mvulana mdogo wa Kiislamu, deaf on both ears, ambaye alikuwa ni kiziwi masikio yote mawili. Mute since birth. Lakini pia alikuwa ni bubu haongei. Receiving his hearing, aliyepokea uponyaji wake, and started to speak. Na akaanza kuongea. I was invited nilikuwa nimealikwa a few years later, miaka michache baadaye, to that young man's wedding. Aha, kwenye harusi ya huyo kijana and it was an amazing evening. Na naomba niwaambie ilikuwa ni sherehe nzuri sana. He could hold the job. Yeye aliweza kufanya mambo makubwa. Thank you. Asante sana. So he could hold a job. Aliweza kufanya vizuri sana. He had now been to school. Sasa amesoma. He could read and write. Anaweza kusoma na anaweza kuandika. And I was there part of his wedding. Na mimi nilikuwepo kwenye sherehe ya harusi yake. And we know na tunajua that uh, Jesus ya kwamba Yesu according both to the Quran uh, kwa mujibu wa vyote Quran and the Injil na Injili yeah is a miracle worker <laughs> hey Yesu ni mtenda miujiza and I am going to pray for the sick every evening na mimi kila jioni nitafanya maombezi kwa wagonjwa and this is for everyone to experience and be blessed by na hii ni kwa kila mmoja kushuhudia na kubarikiwa. We believe God is going to do mighty things in Dar es Salaam. Tunamwamini Mungu anakwenda kufanya mambo makubwa katika jiji la Dar es Salaam. So with that said, sasa kwa kusema hayo, I want to open up now officially. Kwa hiyo ninataka ni nizindue rasmi 5 weeks of celebration, majuma matano ya sherehe with teams coming in from all over the world. Nikiwa na timu yangu kutoka dunia nzima from Europe and from all the different nations of Africa kutoka Ulaya na mataifa mbalimbali ya Afrika 5 weeks of celebrations majuma matano ya sherehe with a, a gospel of joy festival <laughs> kwa injili ya furaha ya Yesu Kristo so I open it up right now kwa hiyo ninaifungua na izindua hiyo so I count to three. nitahesabu mpaka tatu. and then we go piga vigele gele and makofi na yeah. nikifika hizo tatu, nitawaomba ukumbi mzima tufanye uzinduzi kwa kupiga makofi na vigele gele I officially with your blessing nami kwa baraka zenu nilizonazo open up the festival season in Tanzania ninafungua sasa msimu wa injili Tanzania moja 
and they will join us walioko hapa wako wengi watakaoungana nasi rose mohando will come and sing for us rose mohando atakuwepo kuimba nasi miriam lukindo mauki will be there miriam lukindo mauki atakuwepo julia vilkanda who is here from sweden and kenya julia vilkanda yuko hapa kutoka sweden na kenya is miriam here as well Miriam yeah she's coming and uh, Noah will be with us Noah atakuwa pamoja nasi all the way from Bukavu kutoka Bukavu Congo and we have Boaz Duncan with us tunaye Boaz Duncan pamoja nasi so i have asked them to do a few of the festival songs nimewaomba waimbe kidogo tu nyimbo watakazoimba kule mkutano